Good morning, you guys. So it is Friday morning. Um, in case you can't tell, I'm not feeling well. Uh, I've been fighting off the cold. I slowly feel better a little bit each day, but still trying to fight it off. Um, I'm sitting in the parking garage right now at the um, hospital where we've been going for our OB appointments and where we will be labor and delivering when the time comes for our little man. And I'm here bright and early at 6.30 in the morning. The sun's not even up because um, I'm here for my glucose test and the outpatient lab opens at 7 and I just want to be in and out because I basically have not been eating just water um, since 10 last night and um, I, I just want this done and over with and I read on the little sheet the information sheet they gave me from my um, OB appointment the one before last they said um, we highly recommend you get this knocked out earlier in the day so then that way you can start eating and drinking again sooner um, in the day once you have that all done so they open at 7 I want to be there done quick and early um, so I just I just want this done and over with <laughs> And then they told me to bring something to keep me preoccupied, preferably a reading material. So I brought myself a book, but I also brought other things to work on. I also brought my laptop, and if I can get connected to the guest Wi-Fi, I'll, I'll probably do some um, stuff on there and whatnot because it's about a two-hour long process. So it's only 6.30. There. I doubt the, the, the outpatient lab is open. But pretty soon here, I'm going to get out of the car. I'm going to go up to that lab and then wait and start to check in. So that way it could be bright and early and get this done. So then go home, eat, and go back to sleep. Because I woke up at, I woke up at 5 today for this. And I, I gave myself a, um, quite a bit of buffer room just in case there was like the morning rush commute and everything so good thing I didn't actually ever run into any traffic on the way here so that's good so now I'm just chilling and waiting uh, but at least it's Friday okay so um, I finally wrapped up the glucose tolerance um, lab test and um it was the, the drink was not as bad as i thought it would be so that's good i guess and then afterwards um i i did go to like one of the cafes in the hospital just to um grab something to eat because um i was super hungry and thirsty and then on the way back i picked up some Starbucks. This isn't actually a whole, it's a venti, but I would never drink a venti coffee while I'm pregnant. It's a venti green tea latte, and I added vanilla because the original recipe had sweetener, but then like a couple years ago, they revised it and decided to take sweetener out of it. Um, and then I got myself a water, and now I am home. Um, I'm just gonna rest for the rest of the day, and then, um, Whenever my husband gets home, we'll see what we're doing tonight, play it by ear, and I just, I really just want to relax, cause, and I want my voice back, and so hopefully I'll feel better soon. I'm just so done with being sick, not having a voice, and feeling sluggish. Ugh, I haven't felt this sluggish since, like, first trimester, so... I'm about to head into the house and let's see I think I might just chill out maybe actually I think I'll also warm up myself some lunch have some real food because all I had was like a little um, apple fritter and then um, I immediately started to head home because I was like there's nothing else I need to do today don't want to be out and about it's raining it's cold pacific northwest typical nasty weather Ugh. so but at least it's friday 
Okay, guys, <clears throat> it is now Saturday afternoon. The clip that you just saw was actually a week or two ago, actually, because um, what happened was after that um, glucose test, I came home and I started to feel worse again. I went back to feeling really bad and not so well, and now I feel a lot better. I just sound awful because I still have a slight cough and nasal congestion, so that's why I sound the way I sound, but I feel like myself again, um, which is good, and today is Saturday, and I am officially in my third trimester as of today, yay. So um, today I woke up late and Trey went to work, he had his uh, PT and everything, and then I woke up, I got ready, and then I um, went and ran some errands, and then now I'm home, waiting for him to get home. I don't know what we're gonna do for the rest of the day today, and what we will be doing tomorrow, but hopefully something chill um, and relaxing. So right now I'm just gonna do some tidying up around the house, you know, transfer some stuff from the washer to the dryer, that kind of thing, and relax and chill until he gets home. And um, I I know I, I, I feel a lot better, but like, God, having the cold when you're sick with pregnancy, like those two combined, it is one of the worst feelings ever. Like it takes way longer for me to get better, feel better again. And I feel like all my symptoms that I would normally have if I was having a cold without being pregnant, they weren't as bad as this now, but um, it is what it is. But, and you know, when you're pregnant, you're limited to certain medications and how much you can take and so it, it's kind of a bummer but you just you have to ride it out and from what I understand um a lot of people tell me this year the flu and the cold have been way more severe for just everyone in general than um other years so whether you're pregnant or not and you have either one of those two you're in for quite a rough ride so I, I guess that's supposed to be comforting for me, but um, uh, who knows? So another update is during that time when we were sick and everything, we decide I decided to clean up and reorganize things in our office. So let me show you guys what I did and the progress that we have made. So this is the entrance into our office and right now I just have a box of stuff that's gonna go to Goodwill. It's like random clothes and other knickknacks that I found in our office that we no longer need or use and some random old stuff. Like I got a pair of booties that I put in there and this old bag that I no longer wear. So yes, we still have some stuff out and about, however, that wall at one point was just full of boxes, like lined at the, all across the bottom, and it was just, stuff was piling out probably all the way to like here. Ooh, I need a vacuum and stuff, but like, it was just a mess. And then that bag, I still need to figure out what to do with it, but that bag is, this uh, white garbage bag is full of like wires and plugs and just random stuff for other electronic devices that are currently not in use and that was just sitting all right here and it was just a mess and um <clears throat> so there's that so I, I found some of his signs he's from Arkansas so we put that one up for him that was drawn by one of his police from back when he was at Rip City and so we kind of just somewhat got this area to be nice and open again which is great, um, however, I do want, I need to figure out that and some things along here. And what I was thinking once, we do have everything sorted out on this back wall right here. Um, 
if we don't make this into like a guest room or something I, and just use it fully as just as an office in this spare room we would just um i would like a some a shelf here shelf right there for some stuff to organize and put up some pictures um towards right here and then maybe some sort of picture there one right there as well um i don't know what i was gonna do up there maybe something for him that resonates to like the Marine Corps or something and yeah but more configuring to do and decorating and making this space more homey because right now it's it's like office and then storage everywhere else so but at least I cleared it out because I wish I had a before shot for you guys because this room was awful and I know this does not look the prettiest right now but it is much better than what we had going on before all right, hey everyone. So it is now Sunday. Um, so yesterday we just stayed in and we did like a mini grocery run last night and we didn't really end up doing much for me to like vlog content wise. But today we did go to Costco and we picked up some stuff and it was mostly for around the house and meal prepping for the week because the other night I started to map out what we are gonna have for the week for Trey and I and so it's especially important because he eats different stuff than me because he's trying to lose weight and um, he's eating a lot more vegetables and um, lean cuts of meat and I'm not exactly on that kind of diet regimen so I, I do make separate stuff for myself so I did write down some stuff so we went to Costco and we bought some fruit we bought some k pods random stuff like that but then i also got the meal prep stuff so i got a sleeve this much of romaine because we do go through them quite a bit for his salads and um we also bought some celery sticks that's for him of his choice to snack on and then i also got uh, quite a bit of fruit because i'm gonna use i, I want fruit to be my go-to snacks from now on just as a healthier option especially with the pregnancy and all that and um i'm gonna start meal prepping here in a bit so i'm gonna he likes to have salads for his lunch because he likes something healthy something fresh with lots of veggies and he likes salads so he's he likes to have salads for lunch but he's also rotating between that and um soups for lunch so We'll get one of those two packs of like um, the Costco soups that come in the big plastic containers. And then sometimes he'll just take just one of those containers and then split it into like two meals or something like that at work. So it, it, the rotation between the salads and the soups helps him. Sorry, so anyways, like I was saying, um, that's what we do for his rotation between his meals. And um, I also meal prep other stuff at home too. So sometimes he'll come home um, later in the day because he works pretty late hours. He comes home and he might be a little hungry and he wants like a couple bites of whatever stuff I made. And that's always an option in the fridge too. Um, so that's what we did today. And then we also went out to eat and now we're home. He is power washing our backyard because we live here in the Pacific Northwest where it rains a lot and moss and all that nasty stuff gets stuck on our fence and everything and on the pavement. So it's kind of gross. And then he decided he wanted to invest in a uh, one of those pressure washers. And of course at Costco, the one place where you can pick up a pressure washer and all your weekly groceries in one place in bulk. So gotta love that place. I, I really do love Costco. But, um, so that's the sound you're hearing back there. That's what he's doing. He got right to it, even though the sun's going down, but that's what he's doing. Maybe, hopefully, depending on how he feels after he's done pressure washing, I might ask him to grill some chicken breast for his salads, um, because his salads, they, they still have some protein in them as well. I just rotate between chicken breast, um, sometimes like lean cuts of steaks, or um, 
shrimp even just depending on what kind of salads I'm making for him so if he doesn't want to grill them I'm just gonna toss them in the oven like I always do I season them toss them on this sheet pan and let the oven do its magic so on another topic Last night we watched that Netflix documentary about Aaron Hernandez and that was quite interesting. Um, learned a lot of things about that case that I had no idea about and I was kind of following the case when it was first, when it was all going on. Um, however, there was a lot of things that was really surprising that they brought up that I was like, oh, I had no clue. Maybe, I, I, I don't know whether that's because some of the things they brought up was because it was not in the headlines or it was and then I just never realized it so there's that and then on a brighter note um, my mom asked me today because she's gonna be hosting a baby shower for us um, so kind of her to do she wants she's kind of letting us just pick like let me know when you want to do it and how you want to do it and who you want to invite which is really nice of her so Right now, I'm just debating between some color schemes or themes for the baby shower. And I have a date in mind, but I don't know for sure yet. So planning is to be done and it shall be commenced here soon with her. And also, we don't know if we're going to... She's hosting it, but if she wants to use our house for it or if she wants to use her house, it's just, it depends. And it all comes down to like... I guess who's invited and who's coming because she does live about um, an hour drive away um, that's with traffic but uh, without traffic like if you're driving like late at night or super early in the morning it's like 30 minutes 20 minutes tops so it just really depends on what's going on so we're gonna discuss that later tonight um, and go from there. I'm so excited. I can't believe April's gonna be coming around the corner here and our little guy is gonna be here with us. Ugh, so excited. <laughs>